Dark Order hit the ring afterwards. Warhorse shoved Cody to safety, but Dark Order beat his ass. They beat Cody's ass. Stare down Arn Anderson, and who should make the save but Matt Cardona, the former Zack Ryder, and he cleared the ring, tore his shirt off. He was in great shape. He makes his debut next week. So what do you think? Well, here's what I think, to be honest. So, if you spend your entire career in a promotion, and for 95% of it, they treat you like a job guy, and... And, and it's for years and years and, and years. And a total nothing for years and years and years, okay? It's hard. To me... It's very hard. It is hard, but you know what? It's not fair that you should never get a chance in wrestling anywhere else because one company decided that they were going to turn you into a jobber. Agreed. This would be it's... like if you were in a movie and you had to play some despicable character and the movie got awful reviews. It's like, that's the character you were told to play. And, you know, that doesn't mean you should never get a, a role as a, an actor in a different movie. Like, he should get a chance. If it works, great. If it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. But people should get a chance outside of WWE because, quite frankly, WWE doesn't do anything with a whole shitload of people. Yeah, I don't... I mean, I knew that it was coming. I don't have a real feeling one way or another about it. I But, but it's one of those things where... Um, I think that... You know, this, you know, it's weird because, again, we don't have real fans, so it's tough to say. Like, if we had real fans, um, I mean, I, if, if there were real fans, they would have gone crazy for this, okay? Because they would have. Because that's that's what fans do when a new guy shows up. They go crazy, you know, even if it's Zack Ryder, you know. And, 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 and Zack Ryder, at times, you know, had that thing going for him in WWE where people thought that he was under-pushed. He was over way, way, way more than his push. Whether, whether that's, you know, deserved or not. At, at one point, you know, people were ready for him to be a star, absolutely want him to be a star, and the WWE never really, you know, they would every now and then give lip service to it, but then, you know, two days later, we'd be back to telling you he's not a star. But also, um, you know, there's guys who are not pushed, like Chad Gable, um, or, when, or at times with Daniel Bryan, where you watch and go, fuck, or Cesaro, and you go, this guy is great. And Zack Ryder uh, was a good personality on his, you know, you know his, his, his YouTube thing. So that's what he got really popular at. But when I would watch him, I never got that feel from him as far as he's so great. Never got that. Now... And I, I'm always leery about bringing in too many ex WWE guys. Um, I'm not, you know, if it's the right guy, you know, if it's Rusev, yeah, you know, whatever. And with him, I, I would say, like, you know, I would absolutely look. He's he's Cody's friend, and quite frankly, the idea of him being Cody's best friend for three or four months or six months. And then turning on Cody, I actually think could be really freaking good because they are legit friends. And there are, I mean, in my mind, I could come up with promos for both of them without, like, with very little thought. So I know that there's potential there. And Cody's, like, really good at this type of stuff. So I'm not negative on it, but um, it's a sink or swim. It's not like I'm going to go and say, like, I know this is going to work. Um, I know it could work. So I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm negative on it, but um, it's tough because you don't want the perception. You know, it's one thing if it's Chris Jericho, who was not the world champion there, and you make him the world champion because the guy is so freaking awesome and everyone knows it. And he, you see it on the TV that he was completely underutilized in WWE and, and Moxley in in a different way you know he's so much better than he showed in wwe i mean zach's got to do the same thing he's got to show he's so much better but i mean he you know i mean but they they were you know they had they were world champions at different times um they were not being used the greatest when they left but people knew they were good and you know accepted them at that level whereas i don't know that it's a good thing you know ftr is the same way ftr 
was not used well on the main roster. They were used great in NXT, but main roster, not so much. But I knew, you know, bring them in. And I, you know, again, I knew in time they would get over because they're that good. And and the AEW audience knows they're that good. I mean, that audience is smart enough to know and they want to see those guys make it. Um, some some of that audience will, will like Zach or, you know, um, Matt Cardona. But um, he, 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 you know, he, he's got to work extra hard because he's got to undo 10 years of, of WWE shit that he's got to, you know, undo. Um, and people can do it. It's not impossible, but um, he's not a, he's not an automatic. He's not a Matt Hardy who, you know, people see as a star at that level. You know, even, you know, whatever, even though Matt Hardy hadn't been pushed in WWE in this last run much at all. Um, so, you know, he's he's. I'd say he's got, he's got pressure on him in some ways. Uh, so yeah.